You are the standouts, the rebels, the trailblazers, the guys who grow facial hair and make life more interesting. Just for Men mustache and beard makes it easy to keep your edge. Comb in and it penetrates tough grays. In just five easy minutes, gray is gold. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been? One minute and 23 seconds. <laughs> Call it a success. <laughs> it's a little darker. I Let's see. It's not terrible. It's <laughs> definitely darker, right? <laughs> Are you growing it out for Florida? Yeah, I am not allowed to shave because of Caleb. It's who, who happened to shave? Can you see the mustache from that angle? Uh, yeah. yeah, dude, it's coming out really good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't really see anything. That's the problem. All right, turn to the side. Turn. Yeah, we're really trying to get in on this. Hold on. Keep it there. Keep it there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get focused in on this. Oh, we can see it. Yeah, dude. Let's get in on this. I called to look the rugged preteen. That's fine. Because I look like I'm ten. No, you don't. And it's, and it's really thin. Rugged so. preteen is rugged preteen. I'm here with Kyle Ravella, aka Fear the Beard. Kyle, you have the best beard on the baseball team. How do you handle that pressure? Well, I think there's a lot of pressure. Uh, being the only beard on the team, uh, I tend to handle it by just encouraging others to, you know, grow whatever they have. Now, Kyle, what advice would you give to young men like me who have the adolescent face but can't quite grow the beard because of it? Not a lot of advice I can really give other than uh, maybe Rogaine just for men. And if those don't work, uh, I'd suggest maybe seeing a doctor and seeing what's wrong. I'm here with Coach Zartman. Um, Coach, we got to play our first few games um, in Kentucky. It was pretty good weather, other than the soggy outfield. Sure. But um, what are we looking forward to in Florida, and what did you see this past weekend that you want to improve on as uh, you know, as a team? Sure. Well, I think first and foremost, the greatest thing about last weekend was just getting outside, yeah. getting down there to play, um, which was good for all of us, you know, to get out on grass and dirt, and, you know, get ourselves. Yeah loosened up and get some rust shaken off and nice. being inside all winter. Um, I really thought the whole overall weekend we saw a lot of positive things. Um, we did see some things that we could build on as we go into Georgia and Florida trip. You know, I think some things that we learned from last weekend was, you know, just routine stuff. You know, if, if an error is made on a routine ball, um, some things that can happen as a result of those things if, if that's not done. Offensive standpoint, there was two things I thought we, we saw very nicely. There were some things that we did very well. I thought so our approaches overall were really good. Um, we felt like guys were working hard at what we were doing. So, some things that we may need to work on is obviously just more timing type, type issues. And I think we saw that on Saturday against Campbellsville. Um, our timing wasn't quite there and we were getting under a lot of pitches and that type of thing. So, if you take those things as a whole, those are things that we look at from, as a coaching staff and say, you know what, those are things we can come in and talk about and, and prepare ourselves as we, as we continue to go down uh, south to start this season off. Caleb! <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible! Where's the soap? You put way too much on Pete, let me see it before you watch. I didn't! <laughs> I might have an allergic reaction to this. That's what it says on the box, 